Hi all, welcome to EasyTech. Today we will discuss about data analytic concepts session 2. In previous sessions we discussed about operational system, characteristics of operational system, what is data warehouse, why we are building data warehouse and characteristics of data warehouse. If you haven't watched the video, I will recommend that you please go through the session 1 video for better understanding of session 2. Let's start with the session 2. In session 2, we will discuss about the types of data warehouse. What are the different types of data warehouse we have. Then ODS versus data warehouse or OLTP versus OLAP. Both are the same. We know that OLTP is online transactional processing and OLAP is online analytical processing. For now just keep this word in mind OLAP. We will discuss about this in the upcoming sessions. <coughs> Here we will see the differences between OLTP and OLAP. Then we will discuss about Data Mart. Why we use Data Mart? Types of Data Mart. Then Data Warehouse versus Data Mart. So let's discuss about types of data warehouse. The very first type of data warehouse is operational data source. This is shortly called as ODES. O for operational, D for data, S for source. ODES. It's, it mainly contains the data which is coming from the OLTP. So it has the current data. Then data mart. Data mart is nothing but the slice of a data warehouse. And the third one is enterprise data warehouse. This is a type of data warehouse which manages all the need of enterprise or an organization. So let's start with ODS. As I discussed earlier, ODS is pretty much what we have from OLTP that is online analytical transaction processing sorry online transactional processing so what it does exactly our OLTP is basically having an ER relationship model what is your relationship relationship model? We'll discuss that in the upcoming sessions. But before that, we just want to discuss how the ODS is, how the OLTP is. Let's discuss that with the differences with data warehouse. So this is majorly most of the common questions been asked. What is the difference between OLAP and OLTP? or ODS and data warehouse. So pretty much OLAP is OLAP is nothing but a reporting on top of data warehouse. So let's discuss one by one the differences what we have. As we are well aware that data warehouse has an historical processing of information whereas in OLTP it involves day-to-day -day processing okay number two OLAP systems it's majorly used by the uh, upper layer uh, analysts or the managers or the executives for the decision making purpose what decisions they took they took the decisions for an organization based on the data whereas OLTP systems has been used the, by the clerks or DBAs or database professionals. OLAP has been used to analyze the business right we have to analyze the business and we have to take the decisions whereas OLTP is used to run the business right we discussed earlier that OLTP is been used for your day-to-day -day transactions 
to run your business. In OLAP, it focuses on information out. Like they are providing us the information for the decision take. Whereas in OLTP, it focuses on the data in. Majorly, OLAP is based on star schema or snowflake schema or fact constellation schema. We'll discuss all these terms in the upcoming sessions of data housing basic concepts. Whereas OLTP is entity relationship model, ER diagram. We'll, we'll discuss all these terms, okay? Don't worry about it. Again, if we talk about from the uh, database size standpoint, OLAP is very huge database. Whereas OLTP is smaller in size. The data which is we are accessing in OLAP, they are huge. Whereas in OLTP, it's very less. The number of users in OLAP is very less because they are just executing the queries. Whereas in OLTP, we have number of users. It's pretty much a theoretical difference what we have day by day how we understand the OL, OLAP and OLTP you'll get these terms and this all the details so next topic is data mart so what is data mart data mart is nothing but the slice of a data warehouse it's built on top of data warehouse if you look at the uh, picture till data warehouse it's pretty much what we have discussed in the previous session the ods that is operational data source is providing us the information we are loading into the staging area and then into the data warehouse but on data warehouse on top of data warehouse we have built a different data marts that is hr data mart and then account data marts which been accessed by the analyst specific team analyst so data mart is nothing but the access layer on top of data warehouse to get the data for the users got it it's kind of access layer on top of data warehouse to get the information for the particular users Data Mart is a subset of a data warehouse which has been built for a specific need of a team or a specific team or Data Mart are small slices of data warehouse. So in general Data Mart are built for a particular team, a specific team from the organization to fulfill their needs like we saw in the diagram. HR data marts basically it built for the HR analysts then account data mart is built for the account analysts to get the data for them why data mart we have already data warehouse so why we are building a data mart we are just creating an access layer why it is needed for that access layer Anyone can just go into the data warehouse and get the data. We have the same data, right? Then why? Why is the data mart? Let's think from a standpoint of an organization and I am from the HR department. Now my data warehouse contains all the information like HR, account, finance, sales, everything in the same. Now I want to have the details about my department or HR related things. To get that things, it will be very confusing for me to just query into in a data warehouse because I'm not well educated about the data warehouse. I have other responsibilities. So the data warehouse is like something different from my day to day activities and I'm not well educated in that. So to get that data from the data warehouse for a particular 
department or particular team it becomes a slow process less response time so to get that data within a short time and less response time we create the data marts okay next very basic need why we need data mart is whenever we are doing any predictive analysis or data mining these keywords data mining predictive analysis you learn day by day it's not like at the start you'll understand these terms terminologies okay so just keep in that mind that data mining is something like we are just pulling out the data and doing some analysis on that okay for that we need to get the data from the data warehouse and when we are doing that it is a pretty much heavy load on data warehouse so if we are doing that on a daily basis we are disturbing a data data warehouse by doing that and we don't want that because data has data warehouse has been accessed by different users for their different needs right so for data mining and predictive analysis we are creating a different data marts sometimes what happens is i need to um, do something changes into the data to see the results different results with the behavior of changing in the data so i want to change the data so for now in this case if i change the data into the data warehouse it's pretty bad the other users can get the wrong information and they can take a wrong decision which i don't want to so for me i want to change the data but where where i'll change it in my own data mart not in the data warehouse so kind of this kind of changes analyzing the changes behavior after that changes will do the into the data marts so all these needs what we are talking it's for that purpose we are building a data mart got it next is types of data mart there are three types of data marts one is dependent data mart second is independent data mart third is hybrid data mart pretty much from the naming conventions we can understand what kind of data mart it is when we say dependent data mart independent and hybrid we are talking from the standpoint of data warehouse so dependent is dependent on your data mart data warehouse so dependent data mart is dependent on data warehouse independent data mart is it's not dependent on your data data warehouse hybrid data mart is it's mixed some part is dependent and some part is independent let's try to analyze this with the help of diagram dependent data mart so we have operational sources we are building a data warehouse and on top of them we are building a dependent data marts then we have independent data marts you see in this diagram we don't have any data warehouse directly from the operational sources we are building independent data marts and the third one is hybrid data marts in this there are data marts which are directly built on top of operational sources and some of them are built on data warehouse next is data mart versus data warehouse it's one of the favorite questions from the interviewers list what is the difference between data mart and data warehouse this picture clearly shows what is the difference data mart is a bigger in terms of the data holding it contains the information from different uh, departments or different uh, teams whereas data mart contains information for a particular department or particular team needs okay so what is data warehouse data warehouse holds the multiple subject areas whereas in data mart it contains a single subject area like finance or sale data warehouse holds very detailed information 
they are integrating the information from multiple different sources so they have the detailed information about a customer or about entity whereas in data marts it's a summarized data because they are just from a single source okay so they don't need to integrate the information from the different sources because it's coming mostly coming from a single source data warehouse does not necessarily use a dimension model but it feeds the info data to dimension models whereas data marts is built on dimension modeling using a star schema so what is this dimension model star schema again we'll understand these terminologies in upcoming sessions okay next is enterprise data warehouse what is the enterprise data warehouse it is nothing but a repository it is kind of data warehouse for strategical decisions of an organization it gives the information for the core operation of enterprise so it's basically they are giving the they are providing the need of an organization so it's not basically for a single uh, department or any single uh, need teams need it's basically enterprise need all the core operations of an enterprise so it's distinguish from the traditional data warehouse and data marts by this providing information for the enterprise not for the any department or division got it any questions if you have any questions regarding this feel free to put into the comment section and i'll try to answer them Thank you.